This is a 2024 Cadillac Lyric Luxury 3 with Super Cruise. To engage Super, Super Cruise, you hit the adaptive cruise control button and then the Super Cruise button. Uh, just a quick note that it doesn't always engage the first time. Usually it does, but sometimes it doesn't. So sometimes it takes two tries. Uh, Super Cruise on the Cadillac is Gen 2 Super Cruise. Um, I have a friend that has a Chevy Bolt EUV Premier 2023 that has Gen 1 Super Cruise. And the Cadillac uh, has a much larger map. So there are more roads that you can use Super Cruise on. And I've verified that. There are roads that I would like to use Super Cruise on in the Chevy Bolt that I cannot. Um, however, I can use Super Cruise on those roads in the Cadillac. And I've, I've verified that at several places, several major thoroughfares. Um, so the first generation Super Cruise, just so you know, was limited to major highways. Um, second generation also works on major thoroughfares, um, not local roads, but major thoroughfares that, um, you know, for example, in Los Angeles, uh, Gen 1 Super Cruise only works on like Interstate 5, 405, 118. Um, Gen 2, um, for example, if you're driving, <coughs> excuse me, driving to the Mojave Desert and you take 14 and you want to cross over to Interstate 5 via 138, Super Cruise 2 will now work on 138, which is a godsend because 138 is a very straight, two-lane road um, where you really need something like Super Cruise. So um, that's the biggest difference. The other difference is it automatically changes lanes. And I've used that feature extensively on a trip I took to uh, Barstow, California from Los Angeles. Uh, very helpful. Uh, a couple of things to be aware of. Um, and I think this applies to all driver assist technologies, not just Super Cruise. If you're approaching stopped traffic, completely stopped traffic, uh, and you're traveling at, let's say 64, that's, you've set it, the speed to whatever, let's say 64. So you're heading towards completely stopped traffic at 64 miles an hour. Uh, Super Cruise, if, you, if you're like a quarter mile away, Super Cruise will not necessarily recognize that stop traffic in time. That's been my experience. I, I've always had to intervene to stop the car myself. Super Cruise may, in fact, <laughs> stop in time, but it may. It seems to me it's, it's at the last minute. And I'm sure this doesn't all, only, only apply to Super Cruise. And another incident, uh, I was driving on Interstate 5 North and um, I came upon a construction zone. They were uh, uh, redirecting traffic and they had some construction machinery that they just put in the lane that I was in uh, about a half a mile ahead when I first, uh, when I first noticed it. And I was waiting for Super Cruise to respond and slow the car down. It did not, so I had to intervene. And I kind of believe if I didn't intervene, um, uh, Super Cruise may have not recognized that construction equipment. So that is common to, I mean, that happens, I understand, um, on other driver assist te technology platforms. So uh, just something to be aware of that, uh, you know, General Motors Super Cruise is a driver assist. It's not full self-driving like Tesla, it's a driver assist. And it's very helpful, for example, if you're taking a long trip, for example, I'll, um, I'll give you um, one quick uh, uh, stretch of highway that worked, it worked very well for me. So when I was driving from 210 got on 15, headed north towards Barstow. Um, there's just a long stretch of highway <clears throat> through the desert. Um, it's pretty straight. 
And I would say I use Super Cruise pretty much the whole time. From the 210, where 210 meets uh, 15 to Barstow. And it was extremely helpful. So it drives the car for you. And it allows you to focus but not be stressed out. Let's put it that way. And I do believe that um, in the future, uh, technologies like Super Cruise will be just like uh, cruise control is, is now. It'll be pretty much standard. Um, this may not happen for a while, it could be five years. Um, but I do believe it makes so much sense. Uh, a driver assist technology makes so much sense to me. Um, so if you're driving and you're distracted, which many drivers are, um, very distracted. I've, you know, I'm sure I see many distracted drivers every day and it's, it's quite dangerous. But if you have a computer that has the 100% full attention on the road, it's not distracted. Um, that is a safer car, in my opinion, than a car with a distracted driver. So um, there's a lot of um, media, uh, especially the tech media that sort of bashes uh, Tesla full self-driving. Um, some of that criticism is warranted, but uh, I do think Tesla is doing the right thing because <clears throat> it's better to have cars with complete full attention on the road, whether, you know, it's a computer, but still uh, it, it's paying, paying attention to the road while, while many drivers are not paying attention to the road. And those drivers, those distracted drivers are much more dangerous, in my opinion, than a, let's say a Tesla with full self-driving. 